Let's talk about this. All that rain and snow certainly paying off because the Bay Area is no longer in a drought. According to the Federal Drought Monitor, we're considered abnormally dry instead. Which is good news comparatively speaking. As of right now, only half of the state is still in a drought and none of it is considered extreme. So what does that growing snowpack in the Sierra mean for us and our water supply? Let's bring in our investigative reporter Hilda Gutierrez with some answers. Hilda. Hi, yes, the Sierra Nevada snowpack, also known to some of California, Californians as a frozen reservoir, is the source of nearly one-third of the state's freshwater supply. It's the highest it's been since 1995, and it could still continue to grow. Scientists say that that snow will melt into billions or even trillions of gallons of water. We wanted to find out where the snow melt runoff will end up and how much of it is usable. Nine winter atmospheric rivers that brought much needed rain and snow have been the biggest engine for snow accumulation in the Sierra. UC Berkeley Snow Lab recorded the snowpack at 205% of average for this time of year. They put the entire state of California at 166%. Here at the Central Sierra Snow Lab, we have 48 inches of snow water equivalent, which is the amount of water that you can get from melting the snowpack. And realistically speaking, as long as we have cool temperatures moving forward and we don't see any large rain on snow events, we should be able to keep most of that water that's in there. According to Andrew Schwartz, the lead scientist at UC Berkeley Snow Lab, a fraction of the runoff will be consumed by the ecosystem. But most of it will end up in rivers and state reservoirs for the Department of Water Resources to manage, which recently announced it will be able to deliver 35 percent of the fresh water requested by water agencies this year up from previous years. The increase is due to an additional 68 billion gallons now expected from the snowpack. We get that water flowing out of our taps and we are able to ensure continued water flow through that melt of the snowpack rather than only having it in spring when the snowpack mm -hmm. is typically melting the most. If we get periodic rain and snow during the next couple of months, it could bump state water allocations even higher if it stretches the snow melt deep into the summer. And the Department of Water Resources is currently conducting survey flights to collect more information on the snowpack accumulated by these powerful storms. Data from these flights will be used to increase the accuracy of future water supply forecasts. Hilda, thank you.